GPT is a type of artificial intelligence. Chat GPT at the race for supremacy in AI among big tech firms and its impact on the world. It is talk of town. Everybody's talking about Chat GPT. People are worried and there's a fear around that Chat GPT will kill a lot of automation jobs. PLC, DCS, and SCADA engineers would be replaced by Chat GPT. In this video, we would talk about what is Chat GPT and how effective it is for automation related stuff like PLC, DCS, DCS and SCADA related jobs. Before we start today's video, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel, turn your notification on so that you don't miss our future content. Let's start with what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT, our home and sounding chatbot, is developed by OpenAI that works on artificial intelligence. ChatGPT is like your virtual assistant, which can help you to find answers for different questions that you have. ChatGPT is trained by a lot of data available worldwide related to different technologies. And the response of ChatGPT is amazing. Let's understand what is actually accomplished by ChatGPT so far. ChatGPT can help you to create a website. ChatGPT can help you to write a Python code. If you're finding it difficult to code and you got in some errors, it can help you to rectify that errors as well. Not only that, if you're trying to find a car for you, ChatGPT can help you to find a best car based on your budget. Not only that, ChatGPT is helping a lot of medical students to crack or to pass medical exams. So medical students are enjoying that. And on another end, software engineers are so much worried because ChatGPT is doing almost everything that is done by software engineers. Now let's go ahead and find out how effective it is for automation engineers. Is it gonna be that worth it that it's gonna take our jobs or not? Let's go ahead and find out. I have my system right here in front of me. It's gonna be fun asking few stupid questions from ChatGPT to gauge effectiveness of that ChatGPT tool. What is role of RTU, for instance? RTU. RTU stand for Remote Terminal Unit. The role of RTU in industrial systems and SCADA is to serve a communication interface between central control system and remote field devices. Very true, man. So far, so good. What is difference between PLC, uh, PLC and DCS? That's I would be asking different questions from different domains like PLC, DCS, KEDA, and HMI. PLC and DCS, okay are commonly used control systems. PLC is a small, okay, modular device that is designed to perform control functions in a simple, cost-effective manner. PLCs are typically used to, uh, for a small scale. Good, on another end, DCS is a large. In summary, PLC is better suited for simple control tasks, where DCS is designed for more complex, large-scale processes. Very true, yeah. I'm really surprised to get an answer so far. The answers are really accurate so far. Like I would be starting with the simple questions and later on I would ask some difficult questions from that tool as well. Or how to choose a PLC. Let's find out the answer for that. Choosing a PLC for your application requires care for consideration. There are a few factors, input and output requirements. Very true. And it, uh, processing power, very true. It talks about that. A communication capabilities, it's very important, right? To choose a PLC, you really need to know the communication capabilities, size, that's, that's very important, software, that's really important, cost, that's really important, yeah, true, vendor support, that's really also important, what else, capabilities, that's also important, ensure the PLC you choose is, you know, good enough, with other devices, that's good. Really, really effective answer for that. Let's find out some other question. What is RS232? Let's find out whether it knows about the serial communication or not. Oh, RS232 is a standard for serial communication. Yeah, it is giving effective answer. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and f give some hard time to that. I would ask, write, PLC program 
for level control. For me, let's see. What is the answer for that? Let's find out that one as well. Mm hmm. Answer so far so good. It is actually giving us a level control program. Input, level, output, okay. But it is not giving us a ladder program and not FPD. Right now you can see that it is giving us a generic program, not specific to any brand. Uh, uh, I think I have to ask ladder program probably. Write a PLC program or we can say that. Write PLC ladder or PLC ladder program in Semantic Manager for me. Let's see. Here's an example of a PLC ladder. ladder here's, a, here's an example of PLC ladder program for level control in Semantic Manager. Really, it's not. It is not. It is not the answer. It's not a true answer, man. Let me let me give some hard time. I'm gonna be asking. It is not true answer. Why you are not giving me not giving me right answer? Let's see. Let's see. I apologize. In the previous example, doesn't meet your expectation. Expectation. Can you specify what information you are looking for? At least you can it understand that I'm not happy with it. So it is apologizing as well. Let's see. I need ladder program, but you showed something else. Let's see. I apologize for your mistake. Here is the ladder program for level control. Declaration again, 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 same, same thing. Really? This is what it is. You don't know actually chat GPT. Um, let me, let me ask it. Why you don't know that? Again, wrong. Answer. Let's see. It is trying to convince me for the same program, but it is not the exact letter program, so that's why I can see clearly that this 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 guy don't understand the ladder very well. It is trying to give us a generic program, but not a ladder program at least. So let me ask some other questions. Let me write probably write PID control program in S7300 PLC. Let's find out what is the answer. Here's the example. Again, it's, it, it is, it is uh, giving us some generic program, not exactly the program I want. So yeah, probably it's trying to just give us more related to statement related stuffs, but not ladder stuff or FPD. Let me ask straightforward, write FBD program for level, for PID in S7300. Let's see, there is example of function block diagram. It understand actually what I'm talking about. But again, <laughs> it's not giving me what it's supposed to give me right now. So that clearly shows that it have a very less information about the languages that are actually used. It is actually telling us a generic things, but not exactly a ladder or FPD codes. Let me ask some other questions. Uh, how to communicate PLC with SCADA? Let me ask this. Here's, here's, here's the trick over here. Communication between PLC and SCADA can be achieved in several ways. There are a few. Right now it's talking about serial communication. It is talking about 
Yeah, Ethernet communication, it is talking about wireless communication. Yes, it is true. It is true. I, I don't want to hear more OPC. Yeah, this is true also. Right now you got an answer by yourself. Like probably this guy really need to train a lot on automation side, especially it should know FPD, ladder differences. And the system is lacking a lot so far, but still it's a good tool. It is actually helping you to find out different answers. It can help you to find your PLC. You in, it can help you to choose your PLC. Still, it's an effective tool, and I can see a great scope in that. I can see the great chances of improvement for OpenAI to look into automation side, because for now, I think the guys are more serious and they're taking it uh, into the next level for the software side, for the IT side, for industrial automation. They are not good enough so far. They really need to work a lot on that side and probably they will be able to do that in future. I cannot say easily that in near future that OpenAI's tool ChatGPT is going to kill automation jobs. It's far away, but right now they are in the track. But if they continue working on that, they would be able to get automation PLC, DCS and SCADA jobs. That's all for today. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, turn your notification on. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.